Not saying it. Why not? I refuse. Chef J. Barnard, and this is late to play. Torn doesn't like to do his intro anymore. I don't know why. Didn't your Nana say more of Torn? Well, she wanted me on the screen. You'll never be on the screen because you're the guy behind the screen. Who would hold the camera? And, well, although you did make a kick-ass uh, sauce there yes, yesterday. Sauce. You are the sauce king in the family, I heard. Is that true? Well, when we make a sauce on the show. <sighs> Well, do you want to make a sauce on the show? Not really. I'll go behind the camera, and uh, yeah. Yeah. you can be the guy for a while. A fish sauce doesn't... It fish sauce? Doesn't. What about fish chili? Fish chili, maybe. Beer uh, chili? A little Terraz's beer? Ooh, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, okay. With some ground pike? Ground pike. <laughs> some beautiful local ingredients? Beautiful local ingredients, because we're still getting local ingredients, aren't we? So, uh, today, we here? today we're uh, pairing up again with the uh, clover belt and doing the Love Local Box. So, uh, everybody that's watching, because I know there's thousands, uh, if you're part of the Clover Belt, we are really working hard to get you hard copy recipes. We're just a little bit busy with fish now, aren't we? Very busy. Yes, we're very busy with fish, which is exciting because we're, um, we're noticing that there's a winter fishery, eh? Oh, it's great to it's see. It's great to see that we have a winter fishery. So, today we're pairing up with the uh, Love Local Why Box. Why don't you show what came in the Love Local Box for this recipe? Yeah, what did come... Oh, here we go. So we're doing uh, local potatoes. Hey, that one's got like a little growth on it, eh? Yeah. We have a local red onion. We have local carrot. Look at the size of this cabbage. <laughs> Is it the same size as my head I almost? I think it's bigger than your head. It's bigger than mine. My... You get a pretty big head. I know I've got a pretty big head. What else we got? You here? know the most exciting thing on this Love Local box? Is this right here. Johnny from Cuppers. We uh, finally paired up with Johnny and we're going to use his coleslaw dressing which is phenomenal right torn let's take a little hit of it a little hit of it yeah let's take a little hit. like what if i just took a shot out of the bottle yeah, it never like works as an alcoholic okay where's the spoon here at freshwater cuisine we lack spoon <laughs> johnny it's a big this is a true shot of your most amazing Very good, actually. Bet you it'll go better on the coleslaw. I love the uh, mustard seed in there. So, anyways, we're uh, we're very excited that we are pairing up with Cuppers and a salad dressing. If anybody's looking for a salad dressing, you can get it at uh, the local Clover Belt, or you can get it at Maltese. Yeah. Where else? Or Cuppers. Or at Cuppers. Now, and if, you if you're at Cuppers, you can also probably get. We're using these today. Our crumbs. The freshwater cuisine. Original crumbs. There's one in every Love Local box. One. And we actually sponsored them, didn't we? Yeah, we sponsored the box. We sponsored the uh, crumbs in the box, so uh, you all can taste our crumbs, and hopefully you start reaching out and wanting you some You want a 20 crumbs. kg bag. Yeah, we have nine 20 kg bags, so if you have a home for 531 bags of these, we have a great deal for you, don't we? You can have all the bags you want. And we even have one 20 kg bag left of our Cajun. Don't want to miss one. out on that deal. One. Only one left. We're moving out of the crumbs in 2018. We're getting healthier and we're doing more without crumbs because crumbs are apparently not in, correct? Crumbs are not in. So, uh, but they I are just, in our fish today. They're in our fish today. So, uh, And that's not to say that our crumbs are terrible. They're not. They're actually an amazing crumb. So uh, I'm just going to put this in our bowl because we're going to need this torn. <sighs> and, a little uh, three-way. A little three-way later. Uh, and... Um, but well, here's the most exciting thing of the dish. We're using local yellow perch. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful perch. So local yellow perch, uh, we don't hear about perch a lot, but uh, on Facebook, I've seen some people catching perch in their fish shacks. And you know who I saw had a perch? Was that Rocky Bunting? Nope. Yeah. Jack Dawson. How you doing, Jack Dawson? It's been a while. I saw you and your son and your... Your uh, wife out there in your shack, uh, you should give Mr. J. Barnard a call and we should do some fishing sometime. He had some nice perch. So it's nice to see that local perch is actually getting caught and eaten here in Kenora. You can't go wrong with perch. You can't because everybody asks for walleye, right? Perch is a better walleye. Perch is way better. So is crappie. So uh, we're going to go do a local, or we're going to do a traditional fish and chips today. We wanted to keep it super easy. but Nothing wanted, fancy about nothing it. Nothing fancy about it. But... Sometimes when you, you're not fancy, it's the best, correct? 
Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. So we're actually gonna do the local coleslaw. We're gonna do wedges in the deep fryer. We're gonna make a uh, homemade tartar sauce with pickles, horseradish. A little kick. Hey, a little kick. Got some local garlic. And of course, Johnny's sauce. Then we're gonna whap into the uh, perch with our crumbs and uh, bada bing, bada boom. Let's get out of it. What else is going on? Hey, hold on. I missed something. The 28th, 27th, We'll be in Thunder Bay for the, the Nova Awards. Nova Awards. So we got nominated again. Uh, well, that, they, everybody knows about that. So 27th, 28th, I'm in Toronto speaking for the, I need to say this right, Whole Wellness Pharmacy, I believe, or Wellness Whole Pharmacy. It's one of those two. But also we should say thank you to whoever nominated us uh, for the Kenora Chambers, right? Yeah, it's coming up in February. Yeah, it's coming up in February uh, for Small Innovative Business. Second year in a row. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> manager of the year. That is correct. First year in a row. First year in a row. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's walk into... Uh, what, what are, are we do starting first? with? The, the ah, coleslaw? Let's, let's do the coleslaw. We've got a lot of cabbage here, so we're only going to have to cut this in half. We're not going to eat the whole cabbage. No. Okay, folks, you're going to gonna get a bowl, but uh, if you're me, we're going to actually mix our coleslaw torn in... The famous wok? The famous is that because all of our bowls are being used for the three-way? That is absolutely correct. Um, this is a huge piece of coleslaw. You could probably get a thousand things. You're going to want to take the core out. Man, these would be good for... Uh... Hey, what about fish cabbage rolls? You could do that. Hey? No reason you couldn't. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to cut this in half because that's going to be enough for us. But folks, you so can... we're using one quarter of a cabbage. <laughs> one quarter of a cabbage. Um... Hmm. You ever eat cabbage raw? I do not enjoy raw cabbage, but um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then we're just gonna what's that called? Uh, what are you julienne? Chef and I. There you go. Nice. Now we go down so we don't lose a hand or a finger. Do you notice how I cut? I don't know. Should we do a little teaching lesson on cutting? Yeah, you might as well. Curl the hands in, right? Did Knife you, against the hand. Knife you learn against that the at, hand. Uh, your own amount. Learned that, uh, learned that when I was in the penitentiary in Penitang Penitentiary when I was working the kitchen. Just kidding, I didn't. <laughs> but see how you're using that as a guide? Yeah. Eh? Pretty kick, eh? It's a lot of cabbage. What would I, you do with a whole cabbage? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, Clover belt, amazing cabbage. Uh, I wonder who's growing that cabbage. Look how white it is too, eh? Beautiful color. It's beautiful color. Okay, that's all we're doing. Boom, we're going into the walk. Walkie walkie. Holy, look at that. We're gonna have coleslaw for a while. Into the walk. Then we're gonna take some uh, local red onion. Oh, am I gonna be able to uh, stir that? You know me. Okay, all I want to do is put half the onion in there. Onion is uh, very powerful. See, I really enjoy an onion. Do you? Oh, onion. Just so do eat I. it like an apple. Yeah, eh? No, that's disgusting. You do that with lemon. I do like lemons. Favorite fruit. Okay, what else have we got going in How there? How can we, we get any lemon for the fish? Uh, I don't know. I didn't want any. Well, I okay, so we cut the ends off. We wash these. I never, ever peel them, Torn, do I? No. Why? Uh, you like the uh, the bark. <laughs> Ooh, who let the bark? Cut it like this. Or, we're going to do it two ways. So that people can see two ways. This is one way to do it. But, do we, do we, do we have... What are you looking for? We do. Oh, you're going to grate them. So, you can do it that way, or you can go... See, I like them nice and finely grated. Like this? Yes. Just it's a matter of preference, really. Well, I guess this is safer, too, eh? Well, you're not losing a finger on the grater. And it's faster. No. <laughs> uh, we'd like to uh, thank Shelly McBride for all our amazing kitchenware. Since when our last tenant here seemed to uh, 
walk away with everything? Including the barbecue. <laughs> Anything that was clearly not strapped down. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess we're just going to grate it. Never mind the, uh, the, the, the chunks. The chunks. I guess this is really the traditional way to do it. Isn't yeah, it? usually you don't have giant chunks. Of... No. Okay. I should have ate that. You should have. Would have been good for you. I think Carrots so. are good for the eyes. Right. Okay, so we shredded that down. Now, if you were to do it this way, I'd cut these in half. We're going to do it anyway, and we're going to mix it in there. Making some matchsticks. Yeah, uh -huh. nifty, huh? Yeah, very. See? Grating looks easier, just throwing that it's out there. It's very easier. Though. Look at this, and then we're going to throw this in there for a little extra depth. Hey? Yeah. You like that? I do. Okay, and we'll put this in there. The, uh... I like this way, actually. Don't you? Yeah. No, you're not that kind of style. No. I guess you got to be a chef to appreciate that one. More of uh, keep it simple, stupid style. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. so what we're going to do with this is we're going to <clears throat> put this aside because we got enough in there. And, uh, just just put it over there. Okay. Right what else we got to put in there? Uh, so pepper. pepper. Should we put some garlic in there? Yeah, a little garlic in there would be nice. Do you have some roasted garlic? <laughs> yeah. Right That'd on be nice. Head. How did you know? Yeah. This this garlic here you did though, eh? Yeah. Didn't roast. Now, off to our favorite thing today, eh? Favorite. Cupper's salad dressing. Right in she goes. How much would you put in? Um. Whatever looks right. That much. Just under half. I mean, that's a, that's a lot that's of That's a lot of cabbage. A lot of coleslaw going on here. You know what would be nice in here? Parsley. Oh, we have parsley. Do you? Oh, yes. yes, we do. We have dry parsley, don't yes, we? we? Do. Look at that, though, eh? Oh, it's a nice one. Mm, smell. Johnny, you know how to make a wicked, wicked dressing. That smells awesome. That's nice looking cabbage. So I like to do the uh, coleslaw ahead of time. I like the uh, dressing to sit in the cabbage to, uh, you know, make it, what's the word, Torn? El Dante. El Dante. I like it to just sit there, you know. 25, 30 minutes. Let the flavors Let kinda... the flavors marinate in there. Good. Okay, there it is. Should we throw some parsley in yeah, there? Throw a little parsley in there for some color. Some parsley. <clears throat> or cilantro. No, oh, either or. Let's go with parsley. Keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. You can get all your local spices down there at the wholesale from Trish Cameron. We like to buy in bulk. We like to buy in bulk. Always go with sunspun. Because it's the cheapest, it's cheaper. <laughs> in you go. Maybe well, if this was the summer, we'd have some nice local parsley. We'd have some nice local nuts. parsley. Boom. We have the finest know? Chinese parsley. That's okay. Purchased locally. Purchased locally. You know what I love about having the, the wok? Easy to stir. Easy to stir. You know what else would be good in here? Dill. So, oh, dill would be. Good. I thought we had some dill. We have some dill. Yeah, throw a little dill in there. So for those keeping track at home, we got <laughs> carrots, cabbage, onions, basil, no, not basil, parsley, dill, and pepper. And obviously, Cupper's house salad dressing. Perfect for all your cool slides. So, uh, that looks very nice. Oh, yeah, it's a nice color to it, a little bit of seasoning. Very nice. Okay. Nice and easy, nice and simple. In the fridge. The whole walk in the fridge. Hope you have room in your fridge hey. for a walk. What else we got there? Oh, you gonna show this? off the Botarga? What's this? If anybody can guess I already said what it. that is. What can they have it? Something like this goes in Europe for four hundred dollars. We will give it to you for three seventy five. <laughs> what is this for? Botarga. What is Botarga? Botarga is cured fish eggs hung in the sack, traditional style, in our cellar. <laughs> in our cellar? I like that. The freshwater cuisine cellar. That's beautiful. So, yes, this is what this is. This is actually uh, fish eggs. So, they stay in the stomach. We don't take the eggs out. Then you cure them. So, you do a brine. Then you salt for three days. Then you hang them. Then from there, you can either... Traditionally, you could smoke them or you could add some more flavor. And when you're doing the brining, you can do that. 
So watch out for this. This might be one of Freshwater Cuisine's 2018. Maybe. Uh, maybe. It's a value-added product. It certainly is. Using waste when the fish comes in, correct? It certainly is. Okay, let's put Cupper's dressings back in. Johnny, we got some more for later. Got some plans for that. Okay. Okay, so folks, you're gonna need to have a deep fryer if you have a deep fryer. Have it's always oven baked, but or oven baked. But we're gonna do some wedges. I have my deep fryer set up at 355. We've washed our potatoes, very nice potatoes. We're just going to. Uh, hey, look at that. The window's open, eh? Yeah, let's let a little sun in. It's getting a little dark. <laughs> hey, look. Who do I look like? I honestly don't know who you look like. The purple nose. <laughs> um. Okay, so all I want to do here is make wedges, or you can make fries. I like so matchsticks. You like matchsticks, eh? I like wedges. <coughs> How I nice is that? that. Yeah, nice wedge. Right? So I don't want to have them too big because it's going to take a long time to par bake them in the deep fryer, but that's okay. Did you wash these? I did. Just making sure. Once again, yeah. I don't like to wash your potatoes. take the skins wash your off. Yeah. Thought you were going somewhere else. So let's just. There we go. Nice let's uh, let's keep this one. Just that's very uh, that's a very attractive one. I like that one, eh? I do. Hey, uh, did you notice that uh, Lucy's, Lucy's back? Lucy the crappie back on set. And did you notice that his uh, brother's over there? No, what's his brother's name? That was up to you. Yeah. Lancelot. <laughs> Lancelot and Lucy. What are Lucy the goose is doing? Honor. Hey Leslie, it. how's Lucy doing? Probably didn't make it past Christmas. <laughs> okay, into the deep fryer. Just, just that simple. We're just gonna par bake these, and uh, <clears throat> we're actually gonna take them all the way, but we can par bake them for a bit. How easy is that, corn? Just that simple. Okay, we're gonna move into the tata. -ta. Oh, nice. Here we go. Okay, so also. Here's my very attractive plate this week. The uh, fish and chip platter. The fish and chip platter. You know, what we're missing is the uh, mushy peas. You know what I find pretty disgusting though? What's that? Mushy peas. Yeah. What's your thoughts on mushy peas? Pea soup. Huh. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan either. Pea okay, soup and so, hot dog uh, soup. We're just going to let these go until they're cooked. Okay, so you're going to want to get mayonnaise. How much mayonnaise? About two cups. Yeah. Take some fresh cut garlic right here, straight from Italy. Yeah, Italian was it? garlic, yeah. Oh, that's from Carm. Hey, Carm, I know you're watching over there in... Uh, Mexico. Mexico? Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta, whatever that means. So how much garlic? Is that, that, a was a, that was a tablespoon. And then a uh, <clears throat> tablespoon of horseradish. Give her a kick. Pour a little bit of your pickle juice in there. It's just starting to look like my Caesars. Is it? Yeah. Horseradish, pickle juice. Then we're going to want to put some pepper. Salt. Now we take the pickles. So first I get them like this. Then I do like a real uh, whoosh, blitzer. I mean? Blitzer. I guess if you had a food processor, you, you could, could do that. Well, just uh, pretty easy though. Your pickles are pretty soft. Yeah. Or if you don't want to use pickles, relish. Yeah. This is relish, isn't it? Hey, uh, hey Gusto. Wonder if you got the email yesterday. <laughs> you think they got the email? We could use a better camera setup. <laughs> Stick Boy Productions, what's happening out there, Joel and Calgary? Pretty proud of him, actually. Yeah, eh? he's gone a long way from Shaw Kenora. Shaw Kenora, and now he's CTV Calgary. That's a step up. That's a step up. Nothing wrong with Shaw Kenora and. Uh, but I mean, if you what, make what's your her name again? Sally. Sitting with Sally. You were on. Sally. I was sitting on Sally. I was. I was on sitting with Sally. I was Let's not. Put that one on the old blooper reel. I wasn't on. I hope Sally. you were not sitting on Sally. No, I was not. How easy was that? Give me the old uh, Sturski. Now, what we want to do, Torn, is we want to add a little bit of paprika. Oh, paprika. Okay, look. 
Oh yeah, it's starting to brown, eh? Let's starting to brown get a little, and uh, uh, peek here on the camera. Yeah, I'll just. Bit of a problem. One kind of side escape. Escape. Rogue wedge. So now we go in here. There we go. So, folks, as you can see, that did not take long. <laughs> the other problem we're going to have is the tornado. Paprika. Yes. You know, it'd be nice smoked paprika. Don't have any smoked paprika. Oh. We got regular paprika. Well, uh, just a little. Nicey, nice. Now, give her a little stirry. Get the big wooden spoon. Good beauty. Nice little, uh, go nice with the fish and the fries. And... That's it. Homemade tartar sauce. What'd that take? Two uh, minutes? Two minutes. How easy is that, eh? Bada boom, bada boom. <laughs> bada boom, bada boom. In the fridge. Chips. Done. Um. A little problem here. Uh, what are you looking for? Nothing. Okay. Chips. Into here. Keep them warm. Just keep them there for a second. Where? So here's a question about some chips. Do you salt them first thing or do you wait? Nope, right now. If you got it, nice kosher salt. Or if you have vinegar, very nice. Oh too. yeah, some vinegar would be nice. I don't think we have vinegar. We do. Oh. A little bit of, you know what? I know this isn't in the love local box, but we could promote somebody else, can't we? I don't think we can. The red eye rub. From my good friend Jason at Blue Haze Catering. Blue Haze Barbecue. He does do catering too. <coughs> uh, let's throw this on there. This, since you talked about Caesars, this is good on your rim. This is the one. You know what one this is. Yeah, this is the one you eat. Right? This is the one you started eating too. Yeah, and then we moved mm -hmm. it out of the office. Yeah. Let's put a little bit of that on there. How's that sound? Yeah. I mean, really, anything you want to put on anything your Anything you want to put on there, you don't have to do what we're doing. You can do a seasoning salt yeah, or some kosher salt, you know, cake, steak, spice. It all works. Those look awesome, don't they? Yeah. Me, I like the spice. Okay. Three-way? Let's do the old threesome. Okay. When you guys get your perch, you're going to see that it's butterfly. Do we want to talk about the fact that it is a skin-on fish? It is a skin-on fish. So you don't have to worry about taking the skin off because the skin has been scaled. So there's actually a ton of nutrients in this. Now, Jen Spriggett... At Cloverbelt, tried the perch last night. Yes. Now, if she's watching, she can leave a comment and tell us how good the perch was. And, Jen, I would like to try your recipe. <laughs> I like to cut them in half. Oh, you don't want a whole butterfly in so, there. <clears throat> sound fair? Sounds fair. I leave the uh, bone right in there. You can barely tell. They're so small. Well, and once you fry it. Once you fry it, it's done like dinner anyway, right? Yep. Okay, so we just go into the uh, flour, <clears throat> into the egg. These are nice perch, man. Oh, beautiful perch. Uh, so we might as well tell them, eh? What's that? That we're going to be listing perch. Yes, on the clover belt. So if you love this perch, there'll be some on the clover belt. You'll be able to get the perch all winter long on the clover belt. It's a beautiful fish. You can do all kinds of things with it. Okay, from here, into here. Into the crumbs. Um, Shouldn't have taken your gloves off. Nope. But it shows how versatile I am. Versatile. Iron fries. Very good. Okay, now we give these a little toss. Deep fryer set up. How's that? In we go. We're gonna go uh, 
Gonna do two. Right, yeah. Seems fair. Seems fair, eh? Okay. <coughs> While we wait for that, what are we doing next week? I don't have a clue. We haven't even talked about it. Should we move into walleye? We have not done walleye yet. I think we should do walleye. We haven't done anything with a walleye since the very first three walleye wings episodes. Oh. Should we do walleye? No. You know what else we haven't done? We have not done a taco. We have not done a taco. What about like a chili or like a fish stew or like a taco or like a flatbread? Oh, a flatbread right? would be good. Or how about like bruschetta? Or like, those are too fancy, aren't they? Ah, you know. I, I think that you gotta wait on a couple of them until we have some smoked fish. Right. Tough to make a bruschetta with, uh, without the smoke. Okay, so we're gonna take the... Uh... Folks, you can do this however you wanna do it. Plate it like a normal person. Plate it like a normal person. You don't have to be a chef. Well, Jason Damskov said we uh, should do a chowder. We did do a chowder. I, I think he missed the smoked tulip you chowder up right so right now would be a good time to talk about, if you haven't looked out our uh, YouTube page. YouTube page. We've got all 23 episodes on the YouTube page. Is that good? Delicious. So if you ever want to binge watch 84 hours of freshwater cuisine, lake to plate content. Beautiful. Look at that, Torn. Going to get a little side of our... Uh, I bet the fries would go nice in that tender too. Yep, they absolutely would. That's beauty. Then we pull out the old man. Like that only sat in there for how long? Oh, it looks way better already. How long does I sit in there? I don't know, 20 minutes? Not even, eh? What the hell is going on in there? Fish. Cooking. Well. Look at that. Just beautiful. There we have it. You know what? Before I do this, we need to really see if Cupper salad dressing is still good. Huh? Do we have a fork anywhere in this house? Um, yes. Johnny, here's the true test, Johnny. Here's the true test, Johnny. That's good. Give me, give me a high five. Okay. That's for you, Johnny. There we have it. Local, a local fish and chips with yellow perch using cupper salad dressing and freshwater cuisine crumbs, kicking it up with a local coleslaw yeah. and a nice homemade tartar sauce. It doesn't get any simpler than this. It doesn't get any easier than this. Perch is a phenomenal fish. Give it a chance. If you're looking for perch, you can check it out on Clover Belt now. We're going to list some perch up there. Next week, we're heading into walleye. Back into walleye. Want to do a walleye taco next week? I would love it. Okay, we're going to do a walleye taco next week, chef recovery style. Bye-bye.